It's Love My Anime and today is Anime Review Wednesday Yep, it's Anime Review Wednesday And since we are almost getting close to Halloween I thought I would do an anime review on the, well, one anime that makes me think about Halloween And that is Soul Eater Now, Soul Eater is a pretty popular anime, but I know there are plenty of people out there who have not seen it and are wondering, is it really worth watching? Hmm. Well, that's what I'm here for, to tell you all about the anime without giving away big spoilers. So first of all, what is Soul Eater about? Okay, so... If you've seen Noragami, think of it exactly like Noragami, but having a less serious and more humorous moment. Still not getting it? Alright, I'll just explain it briefly. Soul Eater is taken in a place where Meisters and weapons go around killing Kishins, aka bad souls. The demons known as Kishin and their insatiable hunger. And their weapons eat the Kishin eggs or souls. And all of those Meisters work for the Grim Reaper Death himself. Meisters? Weapons? Kishins? What the hell are you talking about? Yes, don't worry, I will get to those soon. Because right now is where I explain about the characters. Starting with the Meisters. Meisters are warriors who fight against corrupt and evil souls, such as villains who eat good souls, making them into Kishins. That man soul eater, his soul. Yeah, Maka, there's no doubt about it. That dude's soul is a Kishin egg. It's pure evil. Any soul that breaks from the path of humanity and becomes evil runs the risk of transforming into a Kishin. And to do so, Meisters use demon weapons, who are people capable of transforming into forms of traditional weapons. One of the main characters is Maka. Maka is a very smart girl, but also the type that is not afraid to fight back. You serial killer Jack the Ripper! Your soul is mine! And as I see it, she also kind of has a slight temper problem, as especially towards her dad. Yeah, your dad loves you. Huh. Don't waste your breath on me. There's no way I'll ever consider you my father. Women's intuition. I'm Soul's partner, not you, okay? After that is Black Star, the assassin with the world's biggest ego. A hundred versus me. What I like. <gasps> I am the great assassin Black Star! And I come here to assassinate you all! Until then, why don't you take this copy of my autograph? <laughs> like it? But honestly, you're gonna love that guy. And of course, there are a lot more Meisters, such as Def, the kid who is obsessed with everything being symmetrical. Just look, Patty. You stand this off again. The two of you aren't in a line. Symmetry is key. Everything must be aesthetically pleasing. Uh, maybe it's my imagination, but I have this horrible feeling that the painting that I have hanging in my living room is leaning a little bit to the right. <laughs> Yes, of course it matters! What should I do? I can't go on like this! And then you have Mr. Stein, and a few more you'll just have to find out yourself. One other thing Meisters aim to do is help their weapons eat 99 Kishin souls and one witch soul, which will result in the weapon turning into a death scythe. One thing left now. I've just gotta eat the soul of a witch. Then I'll be one of Lord Death's weapons. You're looking at the next Death Scythe. Don't worry, boss. I've got it under control. I'm gonna turn Tsubaki into a Death Scythe any day now, I'm sure of it. Now, as I mentioned before, each Meister has a weapon partner. And these are a few. First is Soul. Soul is the partner of Maka. He is the laid back, oh yeah, sure, whatever type of guy. What are you smoking? See how cool I am? You think I'm gonna settle for a flat-chested girl like her? Could you transform into a scythe? Working on it, Maka. A piece of paper isn't gonna help us beat a witch. Fine, then you tell me what we need to do to beat Blair! Who knows, I vote for brute force, though. 
but at the same time, he does care about Maka a lot. And then there is Tsubaki, Black Star's weapon. She is like the complete opposite of Black Star. She is smart, kind, sweet, and looks after Black Star all the time. Excuse me, I'm not a microphone, I'm a chain scythe! A weapon! You don't understand assassination, do you? Stage or not, we still haven't collected a single soul that's become a Kishin egg. You're acting more like a falling star. I need more of this and I won't have the dignity left to face Lord Death. <sighs> Tsubaki. Right. And of course we have lots of other weapons as well, with Liz and Patty, and many many more. And of course, in order to train and become strong warriors and weapons, all of those kids I showed you go to the DWMA, which stands for Demon Weapon Meister Academy. And that academy is run by the Grim Reaper Death himself. But the Grim Reaper is a good guy here. He is so good, he makes himself look goofy and silly, just so he doesn't scare the kids away. Welcome to Death Weapon Meister Academy. More commonly known as the DWMA. To ensure the Kishin never regain their hold on this world, this academy was founded by the Grim Reaper, Death himself. So basically, we're an organization that exists to protect and preserve peace. I guess it's not exactly a typical school. And in case you're wondering how to contact Dev, well, here is his number. 4242-564 whenever you want to knock on Death's door. But of course, before I stop with all the characters, there is one last character I must mention. And she's the main character that makes me think Soul Eater as a Halloween theme. And that is Blair. Oh my god, Blair, like, honestly, she could be the strongest character in the whole entire show. But people have their opinions. But what I know is that Blair is funny, kinky, and the best cat you will ever meet. Yup, because Blair is, well, just a cat with a whole bunch of power. Um, I always get what I want, just give it to me. Pum, pumpkin, pum, pum, pumpkin, because that's my magic spell. Hey, what's the matter? Is everything okay down there in the bubbles, little boy? I like it. Why don't you be a good little girl and give it to me? <laughs> I'm really just a cat with a ridiculous amount of magical power. Oh, and she uses pumpkins in her attacks. Pumpkin, 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 Halloween cannon! <laughs> Heck, even the environment of the creepy sun and the creepy moon almost screams Halloween to me. <laughs> But anyways, that is it, folks. Soul Eater is definitely a fun anime to watch. It has a great mix of humor, great fights, even gets serious sometimes. And the whole anime contains 51 episodes. And that is why I recommend all of you to go check out and watch Soul Eater. Well, that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you wanted to watch another anime review video, you can click up here or click on the video that YouTube thinks is one of my best so far. Like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any requests on a future video you would like me to do. Also, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please do me a favor and click the subscribe button down below and the little notification bell as well so that you can know the next time I upload a video because the anime community is awesome and i'm making these videos just for you